Hello there, Mike Grempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to uh, use a combination of if error, index, and match to look up a value in a data range and return the results of the intersection of, of uh, a row and a column and then wrap that in if error to uh, keep our, our data and results looking pretty clean. So. Let's take a look at how this works. Here we have a data range, January through May, AA through F, and in this cell, depending on what I enter in F10 and G10, I want the intersection of those two to result in G11. So first, let's take a look at the index function. Equals index returns a value at the intersection of a row and column in a given range. So we would define our range here. Um, which is G3 through K8. And let's say we want to go row number one, column number one, and that result is going to be a two. So in January, double A gives me a two. But I'm defining manually the rows and columns. So how about if instead we use the match function to define those for us? So first to define the row, I would use the match. It gives the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specific value. So I'm going to say, let's look up value BB. And I'm going to look it up in this range. And I want it to be an exact match. It's going to tell me it's in row 2. And the same thing if I want to use a column match here. The lookup value will be February. I want to look it up in this range. And again, I want an exact match. It's going to tell me it's in column 2. So the intersection of those two should be 1000 H4. So let's combine those <coughs> three functions together in this cell to do, my, do our lookup. So we'll do equals index. We'll define our array, which is this range here. And the row number will be the match function, which will look up this value in this array and have an exact match. And then for the column, we'll use another match function. And we'll look up this value. And we'll look it up in this array. And again, we want an exact match. Close our parentheses. And boom, we have 1,000. So if I change this to March, it goes to 166. If I change this to double F, March at double F, 660. Works great. But if I accidentally put, say, December in here, I get an error. And if you don't want an error like that to appear and you want it to look a little cleaner, you can use the if error function. And basically, uh, what if error will do is checks the conditions met and returns a value of that function or that value if it's true or something else if it's false. So if we take this formula and we wrap it in an if error, and so if the value would be that, or if there's an error, maybe we just want to put blanks and we close that. Now, if we type in something that causes an error like December, it just creates a blank. If I make that May, we have May and double F, it gives a 648. You can also put in a message there if you want. So for example, I can put try again. So if I happen to type GG here, instead I'll get an error message that says try again instead of just getting that NA result. And there you have it, our index and match function wrapped inside a if error to keep it nice and clean. And I uh, hope this is useful to you. Hope you liked it. If you'd like to see more, please go to my blog, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe. Happy excelling.